ごめんなさい皆様<笑> I, uh, Last week I did not upload Some of you may have realized、um, I'm trying to upload weekly And I made a video <laughs> And it was so bad That I pushed it back to this week And I remade it for this week And guess what It was also dog shit <laughs>、um, So for today I don't want to miss an upload So I'm punting it And I'm making a list video <laughs>、um, Yeah that's where my channels come to But、um, next week, check out the K Tab review. I promise, bro, I'll get it right.、Um, I really want to make this video good. Well, the next video good. I don't know about this one. But、uh, yeah, so for today's video, we have top five productivity technology that I use.、Uh, you don't really need any of this stuff, but hey, it helps me be more efficient, more productive. It adds benefit in my life in a, you know, in a significant way. So yeah, let's get right into it. Right, at number five on this list, we have the Happy Hacking Keyboard. If you don't know what this keyboard is, well, you're in for a treat. Basically, if you're a programmer and you spend a lot of time in the terminal using Emacs or Vim, well, my friend, guess where all the keys are? Kind of far that you use normally, right? Well, with the HHKB layout, all the keys that you press are nearby, so it's just a lot more comfortable and efficient. This, <clears throat> this layout is known as a Unix layout, and it just basically makes typing more comfy. You can actually get this layout on different keyboards besides the Happy Hacking keyboard itself.、Um, there are a few preferred non Topre switches. There are MX boards and other compatible boards with this layout. My personal Grail that、uh, I use is the Duck Blackbird, which is HHKB plus num keys and an arrow cluster. So, yeah, number five. Next, we have a pick for my budget conscious viewers. This is the Draytech Pomodoro Timer. <laughs> I've been using these timers for over three years now, and I haven't had to change the battery in any of them. But basically, it's a physical Pomodoro timer, so you don't have to use your phone anymore, which means you can throw it in the trash can while you're studying and stay completely focused during your Pomodoro sessions. Pretty good idea, right?、Um, It is in Japanese, but hey, it's easy to figure out, and once you do, it's a very useful tool to your study setup. Whoa, it's getting hot in here. We have pick number three,、uh, and it's a really interesting one. They're IEMs, <laughs> or like this fancy wired headphones. Now, why would you want to use this over Bluetooth active noise canceling headphones like AirPods Pro? Well, let me tell you what, they have great. Passive noise isolation and they don't have a battery and they just work. Pretty crazy to think about, right? Just something that works and it works well. <laughs>、um, don't get me wrong, I actually really use like, I really enjoy my AirPods, I use them daily, but there comes a time when I don't want to worry about battery life or whether or not I can get good signal to my computer or whatever. And IEMs just work and I use them every day. <laughs> Uh, my particular pair are the Sennheiser IE600s, but if you're new to the IEM game and you're into audiophile stuff, maybe check out KZs、um, or a d e n o m i n a t e Research ER4 XRs. Let's go. Uh oh, we're cooling down a little bit. Looks like it's time for an honorable mention. Guess what, my friends? These things are completely free and they make your life better. What are they? Add ons <laughs> to your browser. Here are my favorite add ons that make my life more intentional. This one's awesome. It's called DF YouTube. Basically, it lets you selectively block certain parts of the website. So, I have most of my subscriptions blocked, the homepage blocked, suggestions blocked, and this way I don't just doom scroll through YouTube. I also turn off autoplay, but unfortunately, DF YouTube doesn't automatically do this. Next, a m a g u s is really useful for just quickly getting information from images. It just acts like hover zoom on Chrome, if you've heard of that. Old Reddit redirect, <laughs> you don't need this one.、Um, video speed controller is really useful if you watch videos at over 2x speed on YouTube or other websites. It lets you go up to how many speed you want. So if you're trying to really blast through videos, video speed controller works really well. And this one, YouTube nonstop. Is really useful if you watch playlists on YouTube, like for music, for the background or something.、Um, basically, it'll just never stop the music. Pretty great add on. Whoa, I think we're about to heat up to the number one pig. Everyone, take off your shirts. It's gonna get hot in here. 
the number one pick of the greatest productivity technology of 2023 and of the whole millennia is do 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 e-readers let's go i have e-readers for every room in my house and my backpack and my pocket i just love 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 e-readers and not kindles <laughs> um, e-readers are more than kindles my friend if you're in america you need to expand your horizons to the international market there's some true innovation happening out there i only use e-readers that use android because they're much more flexible I don't feel constrained to a single ecosystem, and I'm free to read books from wherever I want. I can also read manga and take notes on certain devices. My friends, e-readers are a great productivity tool for your intentional uh, lifestyle. Okay, bye.